want to wind on you Show you what this wasteland do To all sorts of things to you I wanna make you my boo Now I want to wind on you Show you what this body do Put this body What is up you guys, it's Dee Welcome and welcome back to my channel I would first like to apologize for the quality of my video Like I said, I am back home And filming is honestly a struggle My ring light is giving me problems So yeah, please bear with me guys But anyways, back to business And welcome back to our sewing 101 class And in this video, we are going to be learning a couple of A few important things that I do feel like As a designer, as a seamstress it is important for you to know these because these will definitely make your items, your garments to be of the best quality possible. So in our previous video, I showed you guys how to do straight stitches and how to do curved stitches because at the end of the day, you know, we are working with the human body and the human body is not straight unless you're like me. I don't have any curves, so <laughs> I'm straight in that department, but you know, we, we, we have curves, we've got boobs, we've got bums, we've got a lot of things going on. So obviously you're not going to sew straight stuff all the time. And it's very important that you know how to do a curve stitch, especially if you're working with skirts, you're walking, you're working with, um, uh, what you call this tops that require you to have is, you know, a, a specific shaped waist and you're working with pants and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that you use curve um, in, in terms of sewing. So in today's video, I want to focus on another aspect that I do feel that is important. And this is also something, an exercise that I did at school. I'm going to show you guys the sheet in itself where we basically learned, I think I've showed you guys this sheet. So sorry guys. So as you guys can see, we learned how to do sharp corners and stuff like that. This was an exercise that was essential because at some point in your, um, in your sewing journey you will have to do sharp corners you will have to do um certain you know uh corners and stuff like that so another exercise that we did at school was something like this you know yeah and this also helps in terms of if you want to do decorative si uh, decorative sims and um oh wow why am i saying it sims like as if sims for <laughs> anyways um so i've got a piece of fabric over here and basically what i want to show you guys is how you can go about creating like a um a corner right so let's just get started i feel like i'm just talking a lot so obviously as you guys know i usually do this all the time we're just gonna put it in there just a little bit and then there it goes it's nice up and snug and tight okay i think i'm just gonna put my tension to five because i want it to be as tight as possible seeing as i'm only using one layer of fabric okay uh please don't ask me what's the name of this fabric i really don't know my mom's boss bought it and i've had it since 2019 so <laughs> yeah Okay, so let's let's get started. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a straight stitch, right? And I'm going to curve. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm going to do a corner. I'm going to turn. So I'm going to teach you guys how to can you can go about turning your sewing machine without actually having to start sewing all over again or having to cut off the thread. So you're just going to go in there. You're going to backtrack. You're going to go straight again. So if you know that maybe this is your corner, like this is something, like I'm not a perfect seamstress and I always say that, but I always try my best to do my little best and I don't like, like I'm not saying don't challenge yourself, but I'm just saying that I'm not going to act like I am the best when I know that I'm learning myself. So what I do is I just turn the lever until the needle is in. Once the needle is in, Maybe if you're sewing and the needle didn't, like when you stop sewing, the needle didn't stop inside the fabric, but it stopped up there. You just turn the lever, just turn the lever. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift this section over here, which lifts the foot of your sewing machine. And then you're going to pivot, as my lecturer says, you just pivot, you just pivot. Then you put it down and then you continue. See, now at least it kind of stopped in there. So I now I did take my lever and I did turn it backwards so that I make sure that the needle is at least halfway inside the fabric. As you see, I'm not damaging my material. I'm not damaging anything. Now I'm just smoothly just turning the machine or the fabric. You see? And everything is good. 
and then you repeat the same process and you just move on you just go for straight now my fabric was not cut straight so it may look like it's you know it's going through the most but don't judge me guys um and that's basically how you can go about pivoting and doing corners so now that i know that i'm done i can just do this and then i pull it out because now i'm done and then i can cut it i now have a as you guys see it's not really perfect but i'm just saying now you have proper corners right here right there right here right there and even at the back you have perfect corners right at the bottom and right at the top and that's basically how we learned how to do corners now i know you guys okay you probably might not be thinking this but what is important about learning how to do a corner well sometimes you're gonna sew items that need to be double lined right and maybe it's a dress and at the bottom you might need to hem it but you're hemming it from the inside so it's very important to learn those corners now i'm also going to teach you another trick about sewing corners but before we get into all of that let us do these because those are also essentials as you know there are those bikinis that um that have like a v-line and stuff like that or maybe not even bikinis um there are shirts that have v-lines t-shirts that have v-lines and stuff like that so how do you how do we go about creating those um items so i will show you guys now how to create a v obviously it's not perfect guys please don't judge me this is just sorry this is just to show you guys how you can get started obviously with practice comes perfection and even when it comes perfection trust me one thing about being a, a designer a seamstress or anybody who's doing anything in the creative art uh, industry you will never really be truly satisfied with your work that's the sad reality because while everyone else may look at it and be like wow oh my gosh that is so pretty you're gonna be like i could have done better trust me i know every time i saw something for my customers and they're like oh my gosh it's so pretty i'm just saying like this person i love you because you like bringing up my self-confidence but like babes are you blind <laughs> is you blind do you not see what i see i just see a lot of errors here so yeah okay back to the v okay so we're gonna do one two three backtrack and then we're gonna continue so there we have it and then once again we're gonna put the needle in right now we are going to pivot once more because now we're doing a v right don't mind this little trade over here guys let me just pull it out quickly for y'all okay so there we go now we have our v and i'm gonna go straight and i'm gonna backtrack Guys, these mini exercises may look like they're not important, but honestly, they are. See, now we have a nice, beautiful V. We have a V, guys. We have a V. We have a V. And it's so important to learn this, guys, because trust me, when I say these little exercises help out in the long run, they honestly do. So I'm going to move on from this fabric and we are going to try this particular exercise on a double folded fabric. That way you can see the outcome when it, how, like the possible outcome that would uh, come out when you're using, you know, when you're doing your final project. Okay, so I've got my two pieces over here to make our V. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bigger V because I made a small V and it just turned out to be an epic failure. But anyways, uh, we learn from our fails. Okay, so now we're going to go down one, two, three, then backtrack and then we are going to continue. And we are going to stop right over here and then we are going to do a bigger V. Cool. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off this excess material over here because I want to flip my V inside out and I just want to show you guys something. Okay. Cut this over here. There we go. And that is our V. Now I'm going to flip my V inside out. As you can see, you see, now we have a lot of material right over here and it's bulking up this 
particular section and i want it to be pointy obviously but because of there's a lot of excess material over here it can't do what it needs to do so now i have to flip it back i'm gonna show you guys so you see now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna snip off this general area over here we are going to trim this general area over there and we are going to trim this other general area over here now one thing I love about this fabric is that it doesn't frail a lot, but at the same time, I still need to be cautious as to how much material I chop off, right? So let's see if we are going to get a better results from that. It's actually even beginning to look much better. Obviously, now I have to sort of like fight my way in there, but at the same time, I don't want to tear the fabric, but do you see how much better this is? Obviously, uh, I still have to take out that small little piece over there, but look at how much better this V came out. If I iron it, honey, it's giving what it needs to give, right? And I'm going to show you guys now also with the fold. What we're going to do is we're just going to fold our fabric like this, right? And it's going to look like we are making a straight, a straight cuff, right? Um, we had to do a straight cuff this year. Well, I had to do a straight cuff this year because I did a blouse and it was so nice. It was such a nice experiment and I actually enjoyed that. I've got it in there, right? And then now I'm going to go down. What's going on? Something is happening. Okay. Right? I think I should have, um done it the other way around but it's fine it's fine okay so we are gonna get close to the edge and then we are going to sew straight down don't mind my lack of actually properly sewing this but just want to show you guys something i do think i should have given you guys at least a little bit more space on the sides that way it can create what i'm looking for Anyways, that is besides the point. As you see, it's bulky. It's becoming bulky. And the reason why it's becoming bulky is because when you look at this from the inside, we have material here, we have material here, we have material there. Same thing here. We have material here, we have material here. And this is what's creating the bulk, right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to snip off just like this. Close, but not too close, right? Close, but not too close. It must be like an accident, you know? Just do that. And there you have it. You see? My corners are chopped off. Now let's try folding it inside out again. And then we're just going to do that. We're just going to do that. Usually there are uh, stuff. For you to kind of like help you uh with the corners and stuff like that but i don't have that i'm broke <laughs> so please bear with me and there you guys have it now i have corners i have actual corners and if i actually had that thing that would help me to kind of like bring out the pointiness it would be even more perfect but do you guys see what i'm talking about learning these a few little exercises actually help to bring out the best version of your garment because i mean look at this is this not cute is this not giving whatever it needs to give like guys you have now perfect corners so I hope this guy i hope this exercise was enough and it taught you guys what you needed to know it gave what needed to be given please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share with your family and friends so we can all be family and friends until next time guys ciao